Hello. I hope you're doing well. Hope you remember my name is Cody McKee. I'm deaf ministry leader here at church, Calvary Chapel Hammond. Before I start, let's pray. Father, thank you for giving us this time and for your wisdom we're asking that you give it to us here for this devotion that we'll understand so much of your word and be connected with you, help it be smooth and clear, that we'll take it into our hearts and minds in devotion of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And I want to share something with you. I've been thinking about it. Do you wonder why the word church that's God's people. Why are we called the church? Yes, we are made to serve and to worship God, but not alone as a person, but as a whole community. Did you know that God himself is three in one, a trinity? God the Father, God the Son, that's Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. That's the Trinity. All three, they are eternal, and they love enjoying the fellowship with one another, those three. In Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, after all kinds of animals on earth, he created them. God decided to create human beings in their own image and likeness. In that verse, God said, Let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. And let those people have dominion over the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, over cattle, and over all the earth, and every living creeping thing that creeps on the earth. We know that God created the first human. His name is Adam. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, God said, It's not good that the man Adam should be alone. I will make a helper for him, comparable to him. What happened? God created the first woman named Eve. So Adam and Eve could be together. They could be like one. They could be fruitful and spread throughout the earth to multiply. Being fruitful and multiply means they can make babies, they can create babies and birth babies with God's blessings. And that will continue. God doesn't want us to be alone, to serve God alone. God loves us so much, he sent his only son to die for us on the cross so that we can have eternal life. And we as a Christian community, as the church, we serve and worship God as one, like the bride of Jesus Christ. In the verse 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14, for the body is not one member, but many. You now the church, many people, that's us. Do we have many ministries in our church? There are pastors, teachers, ministry leaders, but each of those people are not alone. They have other members that support them, and they support each other in their ministries in the church. As a deaf ministry leader, I lead the ministry 
but I encourage and teach them to serve each other and to, to serve God together. And they, in turn, support me and one another like a family. Very precious. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, it says, And let us consider one another and provoke unto love and to do good works. And that's a great lesson of teamwork and encouragement for us. And that's a family. We have a community in the church so we can serve and worship God together. We can enjoy the fellowship, brothers and sisters in Christ. In the scripture, Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32, it says, And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. Amen to that. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us to understand why it's so important to have a Christian community, not alone, but all together. We pray that we continue worship you together. We love you so much and that you love us. And the team can help one another and support one another and be successful because we're weak as one and one and one, but when we come together, we're strong. And that's beautiful. And I want for all of us to know you better in the future. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you. Bye.